Good morning and welcome to Mrs. Bell's Sweet Treats and More. This is my YouTube channel. Today is Monday and this is Monday Moments. We are sharing another wonderful uh, recipe with Victoria who's here with Zeke and Arthur visiting mm -hmm. us. So we're getting, we're using them up. We're using, <laughs> we're using them up. Everyone. Okay. <laughs> so today we're going to make a pineapple upside down cake. A few weeks ago we made a pineapple pound cake. Well, we're going to follow that recipe and show you how easy it is to make an upside down, a pineapple upside down cake. And we're going to use just a few ingredients and we want you to know we're going to be using our Duncan Hines. For those of you who know me, I usually use uh, Duncan Hines. They have a signature brand um, that's about the same comparable to uh, most of uh, Betty Crocker and all the others. I choose Duncan Hines. I also use Betty Crocker and other store brands that I have uh, used and have been successful with. So we're starting with a Duncan Hines uh, pineapple upside down a cake. Uh, it's a pineapple cake recipe. We're going to add, um, of course, pineapples and we use the pineapple rings. We have the cherries as well. We have, we're have we gonna have brown sugar, some eggs, and our secret ingredient, which I put, is so secret, is Jello. Not pudding, not pudding, Jello. The wiggly one. <laughs> We're using Jello. What kind is it? Island, Island pineapple, pineapple Jello. Thank you, thank you. Needs needs mm -hmm. help. <laughs> and you can use anybody's uh, pineapple rings. These were on sale, and I got these. It can be anybody's rings. I like to get them in their own juice. Um, we're using vanilla, of course, and we're gonna add some milk and some pineapple juice to this. So here is our setup. Uh, we're gonna begin. The pineapple upside down cake is a classic for most people. And if you've never made one, I want this to be very easy for you, easier for you. The first thing that we have to do is we have to put our oven on 350. And we also will be using, I'm using my KitchenAid, but you can use a hand beater, that is fine. We're using, um, since we're making this with our um, upside down, so the top is gonna have this brown sugar goodness, which will require um, us being able to get it out the pan. That helps <laughs> if you can turn it upside down. So we're using, um, a nine by 13, but you can use two smaller ones, an eight by eight, a nine by nine, that's up to you. You can also use a bunt. Um, and I've seen people cut the pineapple in uh, half and try to position it. You certainly can do that or not, um, but that's why I'm using this pan because I want you to see it come out. And the parchment paper helps so when you flip it, the plan is for it to be intact. The way we put it in. The goal. The, the goal. goal. We the got goal. It. We can do it. We can do it. So together we can do this, and sometimes <laughs> we need a little help. So we're going to get started. Uh, Victoria's going to, uh, we're going to go over to the stove and show you what she does with the brown sugar, because we're using brown sugar and butter and vanilla and melting that down, uh, uh, because that's going to be the base for our cake. We'll see you in just a minute. So now we're doing the, uh, the early, the preliminary for our pineapple upside down cake. Victoria is, has a pan that she is going to add uh, brown sugar and butter to, but we pray, sprayed <laughs> the <Praying>. pan. <laughs> we're, we're praying about this. <laughs> um, we sprayed the pan so that all of our goodness comes out. So she's going to use a stick of butter. We're using salted. Um, you can certainly use margarine or unsalted butter. That is fine. And I, we're just going to put that in and let it start to melt. We want our brown sugar and butter to go together, blend together really well. And it is very important for all of the sugar to break down in the, in the butter, to give itself up. 
some of us, I heard a term rend itself. So the butter and the brown sugar are incorporated or are, are, uh, so blended that you can't tell one from the other and they create this caramely looking deliciousness. I'm just playing with it. I yeah, like you like the way it moves, yeah. <laughs> and Victoria's gonna add um, vanilla to the butter. This is certainly not something you have to do, but we like to add vanilla. Um, I'm gonna... mm, you do it. Okay. And we're using my favorite, which is half, so we have to do double. I know. Mm -hmm. It's all about me. Oh. That's all right. But She's now a little extra. Extra. <laughs> a little extra is fine. <clears throat> so that was just uh, pure vanilla extract, or always, we always want the pure. We want the true, yes. um, yeah, we don't want the imitation, because the imitation can cook out. However, if all you have is imitation, then work that imitation. So she's, uh, her butter is melted and you see it, she's blending in the wonderfulness of the van vanilla. Mm -hmm. And it. she's gonna add her brown sugar. A cup of brown sugar. And I feel like this is gonna be you need a spoon? I got it. I just Ooh, didn't look want it to at splash. I didn't want it to splash. You're agitating it like an old washing machine. <laughs> now I'm dating myself. The old water, washing machine agitators, they used to go back and forth. They used to agitate back and forth. So Vicki is agitating here. <laughs> we want the butter and the brown sugar to get really together, and we don't want any of the graininess of the sugar. So that's why we are, um, she has it on, um, on the stove, we have it on four. Yeah, like a medium-ish. Like a medium, yeah, uh, because we don't have a flame. And it's gonna start, uh, as it's breaking down, it's gonna turn a little bit darker brown, but it's gonna be very creamy looking. I just love brown sugar and butter. It's like, you just know the recipe's gonna be good. Yeah. It's <laughs> brown sugar and butter. So we're stirring that together. And as you see it, um, the, the sugar and the butter are still, you know, parts of them are together and parts of them are separated. Like some of us in life, <laughs> we'll be okay with somebody for a minute uh, or we'll just show part of ourselves. I think one of the uh, wonderful things about cooking is the way we look at ourselves. And it gives us, uh, to me, it gives us courage to see ourselves um, doing something different. So we wanna get that nice and hot and incorporate it because we're gonna pour it into the pan. How is it on the bottom? It's not sticking yet or anything. I don't know if you've ever had um, upside down cake. Have you had upside down cake, Victoria? Not before you made it that one day. Yeah. It was really good. I didn't think I would like it just because I like pineapple, but I just, I, know, I like chocolate cake. So usually like fruity cakes, I'm like, mm, I'll try it. Yeah. But this one was really good. Really, really good. I found that um, there are a lot of old recipes out there that are, are, uh, people have modified. And I like that. Sometimes today we just don't have the time and sometimes um, our memories are, are better at what something tastes like than as we grow older. As we grow older, our taste buds change and every few years we change, there's some change in our lives. And sometimes we have been in a place and we don't wanna revisit it, but sometimes we really do need to revisit, not just the old recipes, but where we came from, how we got there, why we think like we do. So as we are, Stirring this up. I think we gotta turn it up a little bit. You want it to bubble? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna turn it up. We're gonna turn it up a little bit. We want it to get like sticky, right? Yeah, and that's why I'm thinking we may need a, a little bit more brown sugar. Okay. Because it's still separating. Mm -hmm. Start to bubble. And bubble. 
Ja to bude do tej mojej pomoci. To je smells kind of caramel, nie? Mhm. We added probably a couple tablespoons full, and we just want to, you know. As this breaks down, we're going to pour all of this into the bottom of the pan, and then we're going to load our, um, our upside down cake. We've already prepared our pan. We're using a nine by 13, as I mentioned. And we've put parchment paper, we sprayed the pan and put parchment paper, paper on top of it so it'll kind of hold it down. And then we spray the parchment paper to make sure it lets our cake loose when it's done. Okay, we're about ready to put Victoria to pour her goodness into this, into our pan. All right. Ready? Just pour it in. Mm -hmm. Good job. And we sprayed our pan to make sure all of this came out. So. It's going to take a moment to settle. And we're going to be right back when we add our goodness. Okay, here is our holder of the <laughs> pineapple. This is our brown sugar, butter, and vanilla. We heated it until the, the butter and the brown sugar were melted and blended. So now we're going to assemble. We're gonna take um, pineapple rings It smells so good. Mm -hmm. Just enough. Yeah. And then we're going to put our cherries on here. Wanna put some in, Victoria? It's okay. You well done. You got it. You do it so well. <laughs> uh -oh. The one wasn't an, quite enough, but I, I think it's okay. So that's how we set that up. And now we're gonna get ready. To make the cake. Okay, welcome back. We have our pan ready with our pineapple and our cherries here. So, so yeah, so now we're going to go ahead and make our cake and then we're going to assemble. So, of course, I use Duncan Hines, their pineapple supreme cake mix, and I've already cut the top off of it so. And again, you can use a hand mixer or a KitchenAid uh, upright. It's up to you. Um, we do. We uh, we have four eggs and a stick of butter. So we're going to put our butter in. And you can smell the pineapple already mm -hmm. in the cake mix. Yeah. I'm partial to Duncan Hines, but I'm also partial to Betty Crocker, so whoever's on sale. And sometimes you can work with what you got, whoever is at the store that is not one of one of these. Um, try it. So I'm getting my butter mixed in, and I'm going to add four eggs, Victoria has already cracked four brown eggs. 
four. That's the plan. One. Let me see here to count. <laughs> Two. We have one of the Yeah. That's the goal. Sometimes, sometimes three go in, sometimes all yolk go in. Okay, so we've added our eggs. And I'm going to add, oh, that kind of a smell so good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add some vanilla. About a teaspoon. Okay, and now I'm going to scrape down. And as you oh, can see, um, it's still thick because we haven't had uh, uh, our wet ingredients except the eggs. But the smell is divine. So good. Mm -hmm. So good. It smells like fresh pineapple. But we're going to up this a notch. Um, Victoria, mm -hmm. let me have that. Thank you. It's like it's nice having someone, um, of course, someone that you like to be with. Sometimes, you know, if you haven't been in the kitchen with somebody who was a perfectionist, they couldn't cook a lick, but they would um, tell you how to cook something. I think that with all the temperaments that we have, it's like the ingredients that we add. Even though I don't like... Um, Someone may not like sour cream, for instance, but sour cream makes a very rich cake. So if you get out of, get away from what you don't like and let that paralyze you, or because that person is difficult, why not just work with them? And you might find out that they may not be the difficult one. I'm just saying, just saying. Okay, so we're going to add our liquid ingredients. Okay. We're going to first add our pineapple. This is the, the key part here. We want to make sure... Let me start with you. Well, we're going to add half of our wet ingredient that's not on the counter. Mm -hmm. Because we have to add our secret ingredient. That was the milk? That was milk. Add about half of it. And then I'm gonna, I'll uh, turn this up a bit. And then I'm gonna add some pineapple juice from my pineapple um, rings. rings. Now you can certainly add real pineapple juice, 100%. That's uh, better, but I just needed to use this. So I'm gonna use half of it. Now I've added all my things in there. And now I'm gonna scrape down. I want you to see this before we start adding our secret ingredient. Okay, Victoria's Already chomping at the bit. She already got that I'm, I'm secret to ingredient. I'm just sitting here smiling at the camera. Yeah, but I don't know if that smile is what we want. We want right. to work. You want okay. to introduce your, your secret ingredient? Now, our secret ingredient. Yeah, for the cakes work. that I make. <laughs> It helps if you there put you it on there right. It's J E L L O gel. Not putting, no putting, no putting jello. And it gets the, it's already pineapple y. Now, we're going to add about half of this package of jello. And this smells jello-y, of course. And then we're going to add... Well, to ourselves, some... Uh, 
Yeah. And then we're going to add some of our pineapple juice. Um, Victoria is, is the reason just why. Y'all see, I'm just sitting here. Yeah, I but I don't know. Food. I don't know. I don't usually have. I have snapples, <laughs> but I don't know if Victoria's presence is anything. throwing me off my game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to add the rest of our jello. We're going to scrape down. Victoria's trying to trick me. I literally <laughs> just picked up the jello. <laughs> Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to mess with my mind. And then that young folks, good. then young folks, that's why stuff, See, because it wasn't for them youngins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be good too because I was here. Yep, <laughs> because I was here. <laughs> I'm going to say it was it was Zeke and Arthur. I'm not going to say it was you. Wow. I'm going to just throw you under the bus. I see that. Throw shade. Throw shade across the room. That's right. Okay. We're going to do our last of everybody. And then we're going to take a look at what what we did. Okay. Are we ready? We are. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And this is our last beat, but hopefully it won't be all over. You'll see that. Well, the goal is to get the goal half is a to cup get all of, milk, of it. Half a cup of milk. We have a little bit less than half a cup, but that's all right. That shows that <laughs> it doesn't matter. The quarter fell on the counter or down on my her, sleeve. On her, on yeah. her arm. Down the sleeve. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take the spoon and scrape this time, and then, and then we're gonna have that. You can. Trying to mess with me. Trying to mess up my flow. Thanks for reminding me. Of that. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, why said, that's why I said it. <laughs> okay, this is what our cake batter looks like. This is what it looks like. And now we're going to add the pecans. Woohoo! The pecans. You don't have to add nuts to this unless you want to. It gives you another texture. It's really good. It's really good. Usually I'm not a big nut person. Like I just usually don't like nuts. Yeah, I know because I got a modified recipes for some people. I ain't, I ain't calling no names, but they're in the room. That adds more to your recipe yes. list. Yes. It's a okay. different type of cookie now. And it doesn't have nuts. And it is good, isn't it? It Whatever. is good. What if? It is good. What if? Okay. I want to admit it. No. We can't, we can't let our children see <laughs> that late. they put anything, that they bring anything to the table. <laughs> and that's a problem. We really need to let them know. All right, now we're going to add some nuts. About a half a cup of pecans. I take them and I, uh, when I get a whole pecan, I just squeeze it and to get into pieces. But you can actually get the, um, the larger ones and just break them or cut them. I just, um, I'm not trying to make a pecan pineapple cake. I, I want it to be very subtle. So I have about a half a cup of pecans and I'm just gonna pour that in there. And then I'm just gonna stir it. And then we're gonna get ready to put it in the pan. The oven, yeah, yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's gonna warm up once it gets in the oven and go all the way through the cake. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, smells so good. Yes. Hold that, and I got a little, little bit of a. I'm just More saying, milk. I, I got a little milk. I, uh, you just didn't want to go in there today. Yeah, it was the milk, <laughs> the brand of the milk. Okay. So, you saw that? <laughs> I wasn't going to say nothing. <laughs> you saw that. <laughs> I'm just saying. We need like a caution sign. Yeah, we need a red light. A, ye a yellow light. When yeah. you're walking through Maybe this. Get hit with milk. Yeah, with, with milk. Okay. 
The pan looks messy, but the cake <laughs> smells divine. It does. So okay. that's the cake, and we're gonna pour it in. I think the best way to do this, I'm gonna hold this here, is to take this. Could you just pour it in? Because it's not gonna pour, it's so thick, I don't want it to move stuff around. Okay. It's being fancy with it, y'all. Well, fancy is not the word for it. It's gonna move it. Yeah, but hold it, because we're gonna need it to do the do. We want to make sure that it's all the way around so that we don't have somebody that's getting pineapple and topping but no cake. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay, Victoria, you want to start? Making sure everybody is where they're supposed to be. It's so thick. Okay, I'm gonna get that off. Mm -hmm. And then you can scrape this. Oh my goodness, it smells so pineapple y. Super messy. Yeah. I don't usually There's have this big of mess, so I'm just saying. Sometimes people in the room they make things just there we go again. Lame I'm lame. not I'm not calling names because I'm not that it was You're it not, used that's to not be true. a because uh, there was a, a program on her. Uh but you ain't heard that from me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now you want to get the rest of your goodness? Sure. Victoria's gonna get that out. And I will help in the batter. Mm. All right. That's all I can get. I'm trying to get um, so it's the same height. So I'm gonna have to push it, mm. pop it. You get the rest of that. That's gonna that's you gotta lose it. Okay. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna have to have that to put it go because we're not level. Okie doke. So we're gonna go pull it that way. Okay. It seems like it's gonna be a big cake. Yeah, it rises beautifully. Here, I'm not right here in this corner. I want to make sure that it's yes. mm -hmm. so you put it in a 350 oven. I'm thinking about 45 minutes. But uh, of course the recipe is in the bottom and the uh, temperature for the oven. Uh, and of course they're approximate because every oven is different. So again, we don't set it and forget it. We pay attention to our food because we don't want to be making it again. Exactly. Or blame the oven. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm doing one more pass, one more pass. She's thorough, she's very thorough. Well, well, we'll know how thorough when this comes out the oven. Okay. Put my feet in it. No, put my feet in it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pop this in the oven and we'll be back and let you see the result. Hold on. <laughs> Welcome back. And we are now going to turn out our pineapple upside down cake. It's the same size. Yeah. Is this gonna work? I have no idea. Okay. We're gonna try it. The plan. 
Two step back for this time. All right. Why don't you put that down and then put that over it and then flip it that way? I don't want to put. What if it's wet? I don't want to put it on your arms. Wet. It's on the way I don't either. Just do it quick. <laughs> Some pineapple left. Yeah, almost 100. So there is our pineapple upside down cake. We want you to just know that together we can do this. This is a wonderful cake, and it's the pineapple. Uh, we did pineapple pound cake a few weeks back. I used the same recipe, and this time I included uh, the the caramelish topping with the pineapple and the cherries. Hope you get to make it. I hope you're having a wonderful week and you have a good one. Bye-bye.